I'm turning over the time turner. It's not a time turner. Hourglass. <laughs> Super friends, welcome back to another episode of Superhero Saturday, where we talk about the arts of superheroes, storytelling, and so much more. My name is Annie, and we're going to get into a little bit of the fun Christmas spirit today by doing a drawing challenge. Since I tend to get a little nostalgic at this time of year, I decided to think back into Christmas's past. And I remember back in the day, a long, long time ago, when I used to be so happy to have a desktop computer in my bedroom. It didn't have internet, it didn't have much of anything on it, but I used to have hours of fun on that computer playing Minesweeper and uh, Solitaire and uh, this weird pinball game that my dad used to have on it. And one of my favorite things to do was to pull up Microsoft Paint and kind of just go to town on the screen with whatever colors were available on the little paint palette. Way back before I had all of my cool drawing tools, this was like a really fun thing for me to do. And usually all that ended up coming out of it was some of this random nonsense, but it was cool and it was what I had available and I learned a lot from it actually. So for today's video in the spirit of playfulness and childish wonder and Christmas nonsense, we're gonna do a little bit of a drawing challenge and throw it on back to Microsoft Paint and a computer mouse. But we're gonna layer it on this three-part challenge. First off, I can only use the Microsoft Paint standard stuff that I used to use way back in the day on my old Windows 98 computer. The second element is that I cannot use my fancy little computer mouse, and that's why we're here at the desktop computer today. And the third challenge is time. I don't actually know quite how long this timer goes, but it's old school and I thought it would go with the historical vibe of this video. So we're gonna see if we can draw a passable Cannonball Cooper in this time with just a mouse and Microsoft Paint. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna turn over the hourglass now. People watching at home, tell me when it starts to get close. And here we go. Okay, we've got Microsoft Paint pulled up. We've got our drawing reference over here and we're gonna get the paintbrush and we're gonna pretend that this is, you know, a pencil for real and we'll turn it a little bit gray. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're, we'll go with it. Let's just get the skeletal structure here. The cool thing about learning how to draw properly is that you learn a bunch of concepts. If you learn about how everything works and what kind of anatomy you're going for, then you can actually transfer those concepts to basically any medium and have a little bit of an advantage. Although it's kind of getting really shaky here. This belt right there, something like that. I feel like this is way out of proportion already. See, when I'm first starting out these drawings, I usually try and sketch pretty wide open here because lines can always be refined, but if you just attack it with confidence, usually the lines turn out pretty well. Apparently, I just switched to a completely different size for the bottom half than the top half. Oh yeah, that's definitely not anywhere close. Okay, this is still a standard tool, so we're gonna go ahead and shrink that up a little bit. Oh my gosh, that looks kind of nutty there. Let's do that for this as well. Ah, can't do fancy tools, just old school style. We have an erase tool. Let's do let's do the erase tool. Oh my gosh, you ever think you know something and then you go back and realize you don't know anything at all? gosh, my hand is actually like cramping up right now. His elbows should be way up here and then down here. So let's call that our basic shape. We're gonna go to a brush size. I don't know actually how to change the size of the brush. Oh, that's really big. At least we still have control Z, folks. <laughs> and I can zoom in. That actually will probably help us a lot. So let's try and kind of build this up here. I am really eyeballing it here. Oh, is it like changing size? Oh, <gasps> it's like blurring the edges. What? That is definitely something that I didn't have before. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Okay, I like that one. That one's good enough. 
We're gonna run out of time here, so it's gonna happen. Oh my goodness. How does this hairline even go? Okay, that does not look like him at all, but we're gonna keep going. Oh, the nose actually came out good. That's good. Nope, damn. This is actually usually how it goes when I have a pen on me anyway. Okay, let's maybe back it up a little bit. Do we need to be so nitty gritty right away? New, no. the answer is new. No. My typical drawings don't usually stay quite on the vertical. For some reason, I'm tilted a little bit. That's just how it goes. Apparently, that transfers even when I'm using a mouse. And the muscle arms. Hey, that's actually not half bad. That's not half bad at all. Okay, maybe it's half bad. See, it's kind of like playing a video game when you control Z all the time. <laughs> you got your hand on the keyboard and your other hand on the mouse. Yeah, that's, that's definitely basically playing Minecraft here. <sighs> okay, this arm's just gotta go. Okay, that's the basic costume done. Now that we have less than half of our time left, let's go ahead and see about the colors. Oh, and I don't have any layers. I don't have any nice, handy, adjustable flood fill. Why did I do the gray lines? I should have erased those. Dang. Dang, 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 dang. Oh, that's much better. Okay. Whoops. And then I just deleted all of it. Good enough. Good enough. Fix the lines. And now let's do some colors. And they have literal two different types of browns, which is not great because that's barely any kind of... Ah, that's... Closer to his skin tone than I expected, but still not great. It's gonna make his hair look red. That's what's gonna happen. Here, ready for it? Here we go, folks. That is definitely a look, Mr. Cooper. That is a look. So we'll just flood fill where we can. So we're gonna go back to black and patch up some of these holes. Yeah, use the dark blue. That's a good color. Blue, blue, blue. Blue, blue, the paint bucket, painting all buckets. Whoops, not the lines, please. We're not on layers. Orange up front. Oh, I didn't put his logo on. Oh, that's gonna be a fun challenge. Right for the pants. And it sort of looks like Cannonball Cooper. Boom, all right, we've got some time. Let's go fix up some of this nonsense over here. Yeah, this little feathering thing that the new tools have is really nice. When I was a kid, it was straight blocks of color. Every pixel was either on or off, not this like shady filly nonsense. And by nonsense, I mean extraordinarily helpful tool. It's as close as we're going to get. How is this anywhere close to brown? Why is this in the color palette? Why is it, why is it there? This is just straight red. Okay, red hair now accomplished. Oh, and we only have a little bit left. We can do it, we can do it. We can finish it and make it look semi-decent. I believe in us. I believe in us. I believe, I believe, I believe in us. Oh, he's supposed to have five hair flippies, but that's okay. Apparently I can't count when it comes to pixels. So we've got uh, most of him done. <laughs> we don't even have a logo, Annie, what are you talking about? Okay, we're gonna worry about the fine details when we have more time, which is not now because it is rapidly falling out of the top of the hourglass. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. At least get the logo in, Annie. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We're gonna do the little flamio thing and then we'll go blue, orange for the top. Good enough. We'll go a tiny little circle around the outside. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no. Oh no, it's almost running out. I've got one eye. Oh no, my gosh. Okay, and then erase all the nonsense around the outside. Okay, and time is out. Oh. Okay, now that our time is out, let's take a look at the results, shall we? It's actually not terrible. I mean, I definitely did way better on this one. All the colors are a lot more consistent. They're a lot more in tone. 
or a lot more actually what his hairstyle is like. But it looks like the picture. It just looks like I did some fan art of myself, which is a little weird. I mean, it works. And there you have it. The Microsoft Paint slash Time slash Mouse Challenge is complete, and we have our semi-decent version of Cannonball Cooper, and it, it, it looks okay. Kind of like the Christmas season during COVID. <laughs> Thanks so much for playing with me, super friends. If you enjoyed this video, if you could go ahead and give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more superhero content every single Saturday. You can join our team by following us on social media or going over to our Patreon page and supporting us directly. If you would like to see more of Cannonball Cooper in his natural habitat, you can go on over to our website at www.fearless9.com to see the book series, The Fearless Nine, and watch him do his superheroic business. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, super friends, and we'll see you next week.